Good morning. My name is Jeff. I work at the Micro Center St. David's, and I work in tech support. I call this Tech of the Future, and this one is pretty much about how little things mean a lot. I'm going to teach you how to turn off the caps lock. When you're typing really fast and you're not looking at the screen and you accidentally hit the caps lock instead of A and you look up and you realize you just typed the whole paragraph all in caps and you've got to go all the way back or if you're in chat with somebody you have to explain sorry caps. I can teach you how to turn that off so that that doesn't happen. In a minute I'm going to give you the steps but I'm just going to explain something about how this works. In the keyboard layout in the registry the controls are there. Everything is mapped out for you. All you need to do is add one little remapping that overrides the control of any key in the keyboard. And it's that simple. Basically, you enter three lines of code, and it's done. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. All right, let's get started with the steps on how to do this. You can do this in Windows XP, Windows uh, Vista, Windows 7, or even Windows 2000 if you have that. The steps are the same. The locations of how to get to the registry might be a little different in each case. In this case, I'm going to be using Windows 7. You click the Start menu, and then you go down to the Editing box. In Windows XP, you'd probably click Start and then Run, and then you get the same box. In this box, you're going to type Reg Edit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Hit Enter. In my case, I have to confirm it because I have security set high. Now the Registry Entry box comes up. In here is a very dangerous place to be, so don't tread here unless you're really comfortable with what you're doing. Navigate down to Local Machine. Um, click the plus sign next to it or the arrow next to it to open it up. Go down to System. You're going to do the same thing. There'll be a plus sign in Windows XP. There'll be an arrow in Windows Vista and 7. Click, ne click on that. That will open up the next box. Go down to Current Control Set. Do the same and then go down to control and do the same. Now you're in the control window. Navigate down or scroll down to where you see keyboard layout. Keyboard layout, if you click on it and then look in the box to the left, or the right, I should say, doesn't have anything in it except default because default is what every keyboard is going to be mapped to. You're going to override this by right-clicking and adding a new binary value. When the box comes up for the name in new value number one, you're going to type in with a capital letter for each word, scan code space map. Okay, and hit enter. Now your scan code map binary key is created. You're going to double click it and open up a window. These entries are going to be fairly automatic, so all you need to do is enter them and watch them flow. In the first box, you're going to enter eight sets of zero, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It opens up the next line automatically. Your first character in there is going to be zero, two. Then you're going to follow with five more sets of zero, zero. One, two, three, four, five. This value is going to be three A and one more zero, zero. In this last box that comes up, you're going to type zero, zero four more times. One, two, three, four. At the bottom here, click OK, which will save your registry key. Go up into the corner and close your registry edit box. And you are done. Now that you've made your registry changes, it is very important that you restart Windows. None of this will take effect until you do. And that's it. You've done it. You've disabled your caps lock. So from now on, if you hit the caps lock by accident, nothing will happen. The very worst that will happen is you'll miss an A in whatever it is you're th that you're typing. But you won't create havoc in your chat boxes and in your documents with all caps in all of your sentences and have to explain yourself. In the future, I'm going to be adding more uh, to this list of things you can do with the keyboard mappings. Uh, such as mapping the keyboard to have caps lock become the A key so that even if you miss the A key, you get an A key if you hit the caps lock by accident. So until next time, thank you for listening and have a good day.